setting a cylinder with 24 sides, scale it on the Z axis. We're going to delete this part and the bottom part, just leave the top one. Inset the eye two times, delete these faces, and then Ctrl F and choose grid fill. Now let's extrude the key. Just apply a subdivision. Now let's add a displacement modifier. Let's add a texture. You can find this texture in Wikipedia. The link is in the description of this video. Let's increase the subdivision. Okay, we have these weird lines here. Let's try to remove them. Select these parts and assign a vertex group. We're going to work only on this part. Let's add a smooth modifier. So much. We are getting there. We need to tweak these values. Subdivide one more time. Remove these edges. Remove this one too. Okay, uh, maybe 30, 20. Almost there. Okay. Increase the smooth. Let's increase here the displacement. Okay, I think now it's good. Move it a little down. Oops. Sorry. Let's just shift the and rotate 180 degrees. Let's do the, the bottom part. Now we're going to make the cream inside. Just add a cylinder. Scale it S Z. Going to add a bevel here on these two edges. Control B. Segments clamp overlap all the way up and just merge the vertices with them. Now subdivision. Now we're going to add a, a texture here, give it a little noise. Just add a displacement and add a new texture. We're going to use the clouds. I think I need to increase the subdivision. Tweak these values a little more, just to give it a little more noise. Now, let's uh, texture this cookie. 
going to the shader editor add uh, a new material color of make it a dark uh, brown color like so roughness 0.7 Apply the same at the bottom. Change it to cycles render. Okay, let's add some noise here. the bump map and a noise texture and connect to the normal okay. now just increase the noise texture and reduce the strength of the bump map the bump node oh, sorry let's use the object on the texture coordinate because this is not unwrapped. Keep changing these values. Okay, so just a little darker the color. Change the HDRI. Just you can see better the noise on the cookie. Change to HDRI once again. Okay. Rendering 50. The noise scale. Okay, let's copy this material. Add a new one. Control V. We're going to apply this one to the cream. Give it a little a cream color. Maybe one hundred of the noise scale. Increase the roughness since the cream is a little shiny. Render view. Again, for the cookie, a little darker. Okay, let's prepare this for render. Add a camera, Shift D, and add a camera. Zero to go to camera view. Uh, 2000 by 2000 resolution cycles to com compute. Okay. Let's rotate this and uh, 90 degrees. And now rotate once again 45 degrees. Let's 
rotate along the normals. Add a plane, let's put it on the back and scale it. Let's give a material to this plane, black color, decrease the roughness and increase the specular. Now we need to add some lights, the same, let's shift, shift D, add a area light, let's increase the power. And the size. Just duplicate this area light and give it a rotation 90 degrees. Put it here. I like to give I want to give some color to the to the back plane. Let's increase the roughness. Back to the 3D viewport, move it a little on the Y axis. I'm going to change the color, the, the light to a disc, a render. It's too much. Take this one once again and 180 degrees rotate it a little bit below the cookie to add some light here at the bottom. Take Shift D, duplicate once again, move it to the side. Rotate it 90 degrees, move it place it like so and rotate it once again. the cream let's increase the let's give it a little emission just some stand out a little bit Enable the denoise. Let's render. That's it.